I didn't know this. This stat is, is alarming, man. Salute to Palmer Anderson coming through once again. I didn't know this, man. I will admit, man, I had no idea. I had no idea. That we, I had no idea that we were this burdensome on, this, on society, man. Every troop over there, man, need to be a sun turd, man. Yo, every troop over there, man, we crying about them three troops that we lost, man. Every troop over there need to be a sun turd, man. All the troops over there, man, salute to um, Lomingo. I think Lomingo said one of them troops was his, one of them black troops that died was his cousin, man. R.I.P., man. Thank you for your cousin's service, man. Um, thank your cousin for his service, man. But black, man, we need to be, every troop over there need to be black, man. We owe, we owe the country, man. <laughs> Look at this shit, man. We owe the country, man. And listen, man, I will say this, man. I don't know no, I don't know, I probably do, but I don't know personally too many blacks that, that owe after tax time. More, like 99% of the black that I know, they getting a fat income check, check, man. And I don't care, but I don't care what they do for a living, man. They getting, they getting two, three, four, five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 back. On tax time, and all the white people I know they owe man. <laughs> white people hate tax time, man. <laughs> white people hate tax time. White people hate tax time. White people like ah fuck, it's tax time. Ah, fuck, it's tax time again. Black people are like, yay, tax time is different in black community. Tax time is like, yo, this is about to be a celebration. Salute the hot fire, man. Salute the tonic tea, man. It's about to be a celebration in the in the black community, man. It's about to be tax time, man. It's about to be a legit celebration, man. Fun fact, the only ethnic groups in America that pay more in taxes than they take in welfare are whites and Asians. Blacks in America have a tax welfare deficit of $390 billion a year. That means that every five years, $2 trillion Dollars are taken away from whites and Asians and given to blacks. Man, the next time one of you Sunters beat up an Asian person, man, you should be given a life sentence, man. Next time one of you Sunters beat up an Asian person, you should be given a life sentence. Press one. Next time one of y'all kill a white person, y'all should be given a life sentence, man. Press one, man. Thank you, white people. Thank you, white people, man.
Thank you, white people. Thank you, white people, for all that you do. For all that white people do, this buzz for you, man. For all that white people do, this buds for you. Thank you, white men. <laughs> Thank you, white men. Press one. Cops are gonna come. Thank you, white men. <laughs> Cops are gonna come. Why? Thank you, white men, for all you do, man. This buds for you. Girls on drugs. No, then I can't record it. Like a cracked out ballerina. Holy <laughs> oh, shit, she got up. She's going in the street. Holy shit. I can't see, I can't. Oh, dude. <laughs> she <laughs> hit my car. Yeah, no, no bullshit, but Paul Abdu gonna steal those moves, man. <laughs> Paul Abdu gonna use that in her next choreography, man. I see you, Paul. I know you gonna do, you gonna steal that shit. Shout out to this girl, man. She could she be a great choreographer, man. I want to stop recording and go, but... You didn't get hit by a car. <laughs> mm. Is that what you did, Paula? You just hung out around um, crackheads and shit and junkies and watched them and stole their moves? That's what you did, Paula? I know that's what you did. <laughs> I finally figured out why the rest of the, why the rest of the world be pressed about black people, bro. You gotta, you gotta be, you gotta take a look from the outside looking in. If you another race, and no matter where you look in history, you see black people, wouldn't you be pressed too? <laughs> like, wouldn't you be pressed when you finally come to the realization that the world wouldn't be shit without black people? <laughs> I would. <laughs> if I was another race, I would be like, fuck. Like, just this week, we found out that we invented horchata. <laughs> like, that's something small, but that shit threw me off too. What's Hojata? What's Hojata? What's Hojata? Salute the Society of Benevolence, man. Shout out to you, man, coming through, man. What's Hojata? I don't know what he's talking about. Milk? We invented Horiata? What the fuck is he talking about? A drink? Mexican milk and cinnamon. <laughs> we invented milk and cinnamon? All right. Woohoo! 
if I was another race, I would be like, fuck. Like just this week, we found out that we invented horchata. Like that's something small, but that shit threw me off too. Like we invented so much shit, we damn near forgot about it, bro. <laughs> like we just be throwing shit together and giving it to the rest of the world. Like, hey, here you go, fuck around with this, see how y'all like it. <laughs> we don't care. We invent. We'll invent something new. <laughs> like, bro, come on, y'all got to think about all the things we invented. Everything from GPS, bro, to uh, fucking stoplights and shit. Like, <laughs> where would the world be without us? <laughs> That's. This brother gonna be in for well, that facts don't matter. So let me facts don't matter. But if facts matter, he would be in for a rude awakening if he checked out when the patent for these things, who actually owned the patent, and when the patent was um was registered. Like in the case of the um stop sign. I mean, um, traffic light. Garrett A. Morgan, the black guy who, who um, black people give credit for inventing the stop stop sign light. That um, that patent was um registered like thirty years before that. Um, in England, and he what the piece the thing he did was like a. He didn't really invent the the stoplight. He invented like some something that like a different aspect of it that made it like made it you know took it to another level. Um, but yeah, and GPS, uh, we all know that's true. We all know, we all know that's not true. But yeah, man, facts don't matter. That's the good thing about when you black. That's good because facts don't matter. So. Black people not even going to be mad. Facts don't matter. So it's like, you can't bust our bubble because we don't care. Like, when you come with like, hey, wait a second, here's here's the patent from such and such year, and here's the guy who, we don't care. We don't hear nothing about none of that shit, man. <laughs> like, bro, come on. Y'all got to think about all the things. We invented everything from GPS, bro, to uh, fucking stoplights and shit, like, <laughs> where would the world be without us <laughs> that's why the rest of the world pressed <laughs> like yeah it has some of the stuff that it's a lot of stuff from the world been hidden from us that we've done hell yeah has you know has you know a lot of other races destroyed a lot of the great things that we accomplished yes but we such trailblazers have we destroyed a lot of the things that the other people in the world have we destroyed things that they <laughs> But we such trailblazers, we just be focused on the future, bro. We create waves. <laughs> Let's see the comment section in this one, man. Maybe I got it all wrong, man. I'm willing to I'm willing to I'm willing to concede that I might have it all wrong. Roger Easton, he invented GPS, and here's the patent. Um, yeah, there's no way, brother. We don't even think like that to invent GPS. Um, and what's interesting about that is, we don't even think like that, man. The our, our brains don't even work like that. Tell me something I can believe that black people invented, man. You telling me we invented GPS, man? Tell me something I can believe, man. We invented. You tell me we invented um, flapjacks or some shit. Or we invented. We invented tube socks or some shit like that, man. We ain't invented no goddamn GPS. I don't give a fuck what you say, man. Could be what has created this gigantic sphere we call our universe. And what's interesting about that is this is a shadow, but not a shadow of darkness. It's a shadow of light. It's a light matrix. 
We're talking about the tech, the spiritual technology utilized to create this entire realm. This entire realm was created with some type of spiritual technology, and this technology is so incredible, it's imbued with divine matter, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, but it's also imbued with darkness. But what's interesting about the darkness in this yin and yang, it always seems to be a battle against each other, but in the end, for the most part, the light always seems to win. Even if it takes a long period of time, the cycle happens where the darkness leaves. And the what is this Negro talking about? Anybody? Anybody? What is this Negro talking about? Can anybody tell me? Press one if you can tell me what this Negro is talking about. And the light comes in. We're sitting in a room right now that's pretty, pretty well lit, right? If I was to turn on something dark, I couldn't make the light dim any. In other words, if I, there's nothing I can, there's no darkness I can inject into this room with these physical lights that would make this room dark right now. Mm -hmm. But if I turn all these lights off and just do something as simple as turn on my cell phone, the darkness will flee from that light instantaneously. So the smallest amount of light will make darkness flee. And so I took I take that to the universal scale because I believe it's all fractal. I believe that we're, it's all as above, so below. And it's all about how many conscious beings does it take before the darkness flees. There's a number that we have to hit. When we hit that specific percentage of number of awakened souls on this planet, that's what it will flee. What we're talking about is we're talking about obtaining Christ consciousness. I get a little emotional about this. It's so powerful. Hold it together, man. Hold it together, man, brother. If you need a second, man, I'm going to give you a second, brother, man. Hold it together, man. You all right? All right. Sorry. So we're talking about, uh, we're talking about this. See, Christ never said he was returning. Jesus never said he was coming back. He said that Christ will return. We're talking about this. Man, that word salad was so big that the onions in his word salad made him cry. Ain't that a bitch? The onions in his word salad made him cry. Black history facts you probably don't care about. People in the early 1900s relied on burning coal or wood to heat their homes. This method of heating sucked because the heat usually was hottest right in front of the fireplace, which left the rest of the room cold. On December 23, 1919, Alice H. Parker patented the first furnace powered by natural gas that was for homes and offices. Her invention would suck in the cold air and exchange it with hot air. It would then distribute that hot air to the different parks of the home. Her invention was the first to have individually controlled air ducts that would distribute heat throughout the home. Parker played an important role in the development of the central heating systems that keep us warm today. Black history facts. Now, if this is true, man, if this is true, salute to her. It's just that every time I've looked up one of these black inventions, like it's like yo the shit was like invented like 50 years earlier and shit <laughs> and the thing that the black person did was just like something that like 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 how like every product somebody does add something to every product every couple of years and shit makes it different and shit well But if she did invent that, salute to her, man. This is a fool. They a fool for this one, man. 
You a fool for this one, man. Let me drop the link, man. You a fool for this one, man. You a fool for this one, man. Now, he, let me let me tell you something about Black Pope, right? I done played like a thousand fucking videos of black people bragging, right? And I've shown one meme of white people clowning black people. And uh, some black person who sees this in the future is going to be like, man, she, man, man, she, man. He hate us, man. Man, she, man. It's Joe Bass, man. Salute, salute to Jordan Turner. Salute to Hot Fire in the building. What's up, Fisherman? What's going on, man? What do you, do you think um, about black people inventing everything, man? Uh... I mean, common sense would say otherwise. So I'm gonna go yeah, with a man. with a with a with a false on all that. Yeah, Pressing the uh, the doubt button. Crazy man! I ain't gonna lie, but I don't even. I don't want that shit, man. I don't want credit for that shit. Fuck no, man. Taking credit for some shit. We invented all the no, the fuck we didn't, man. Um, it just breeds more that. animosity. Oh, it does? Animosity? You guys are animus about that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I thought y'all just took it in stride and was like, ah, oh, look at those sudden turds. Look at those Negroes. This such a this such a peculiar, mercurial bunch. So y'all took that stuff in stride, man. Mm -mm. It's kind of like our dogs. Like you can't can't lie on our inventions and our dogs. Oh, okay. Well, me 